All right, time for another one of these fun videos. Hey everybody, uh, I'm in the middle of recording another video for tomorrow and I was looking for a 3D model that I can print to show off as part of this video. And something that's driving me absolutely wild over the last handful of months is just the a rampant, like, I want to call it almost abuse of AI 3D models that we're starting to see across basically every single 3D modeling platform from printables to Maker World to Thingiverse to Thangs, you name it, you're going to be spotting them there. And at this point, I feel like it's just an attempt from a lot of these folks to just game the system where on things like printables or Maker World, where you get points from the amount of people that uh, download your files, or you even get points as you upload files. And in some cases, if you take a look at some of these accounts, they're all relatively new accounts. Not all of them, I should say. Uh, a handful that I looked at. I'm not going to be calling out any specific accounts or models or anything like that. I, I, I don't want to name shame or anything like that because whatever. It, it, it is what it is at this point. AI is here. People are using it. I use it for a lot of my videos to help script out things. In some cases for coming up with uh, descriptions for my titles. But the usage of AI and 3D modeling for 3D printing has gone on like even more popular. I even did a video on it, I think about a year plus ago. And in that like, didn't even that service even I don't even know if it fully was a real AI service but now there are legit uh, AI modeling services that are continually getting better with their ability to generate 3D models I'm still probably not going to be promoting those here on the channel it doesn't mean that I won't necessarily use them but and I'll talk about that here but what I'm seeing is just what feels like people mass creating just stuff lots of stuff and uploading them to these sites. And when, going back to what I was trying to say previously, some of these accounts are like within just the past three months have uploaded over 400 models in less than an, what, less than 150 days since the beginning of the year. That's what, that comes out to like three, almost three files a day that they're generating and uploading. And it, it just, it, part of it, what drives me crazy isn't necessarily that it's an AI 3D model. I, I get it. That's that's cool. You're uploading those models if people want to print them and some of them are very popular and some of them look really cool. It's the they look really cool part that drives me nuts is because I'll be browsing and I'll see a model that has a really interesting thumbnail and I click on it and it's almost like clickbait for 3D models because the generated image that they're using to represent that model isn't exactly what the actual 3D model is. It's getting to the point that it's, it's really irking me when it comes to just trying to find stuff to print and all I'm seeing is what feels like similar versions of the same object. Uh, it's like these little creatures that all kind of have the same stylized look to them in a lot of cases. Uh, there are just some really unique things that people are doing with it and I'm not saying it's bad. By no means am I saying that AI and 3D is, is bad. I, there are definitely three modelers that uh, I've shown off here that uh, there's three modeler people that work in the industry that aren't even doing 3D printing necessarily that I've talked to that are using 3D, like AI 3D modeling, but they're not using it for their end product. They're using it as a starting point or um, a, a concept uh, iteration type thing where they're using it to help generate different poses or will this work before actually going in and fully modeling out? And then they'll end up massively changing in a lot of cases whatever it was that it generated. Uh, this technology is gonna continue to get better and I'm just struggling to figure out how we do anything about it to help control what's being put out there. Uh, what I think I'm most impressed with is right now is printables within the last week or two, roll out an update to their website where now when you upload a file, you have to flag if you're using an AI model for the actual 3D model or an AI thumbnail to uh, you know help perceive whatever it is that you're uploading. Uh, there's also filters while you're searching, which is very interesting to play around with. So if you want to go and look at like the most downloaded models here over the past month or two, you can, or even a week, you can see by using this filter which ones were in theory generated by AI. And I'm not sure if anybody on the back end of Proust is going in and tagging them or if people are you're you're able to tag a model as AI. I don't know, um, but the, so far I checked Thangs and I checked Thingiverse and I've checked Maker World and there are no flagging options. So at bare minimum, I would love to start seeing these other 3D websites start incorporating this as filter options 
so that you can actually filter out the AI stuff that people are generating so that you can actually get to the real 3D models. And again, if you are generating AI 3D models, that, that's fine. Or if you want to use those and uh, sculpt on those to further refine those, I think that's a really cool concept. That's it. how I envision using AI 3D modeling as like a core starting point, like some of these other 3D modeling artists that are out there, which again, I find like... It's fun talking with some of the folks that I don't think necessarily will ever come out and publicly say that they're using it because it still feels a little bit taboo. Uh, but again, they're they're taking it as a initial AI artwork and then massively changing it in a lot of cases. I, I don't know what they've started with, but it doesn't look remotely anything like a lot of the AI similar stuff that we see constantly uploaded to a lot of these sites. I just wanted to make this, to get this out here. I'm just frustrated by it. I, I don't know if anybody else is frustrated by this when you're going and searching for things. This is why I continue to pay and support other 3D modelers on Thangs and Patreon and other sites that have services like that where I can help support them that are actually generating and refining or modeling some of these amazing 3D models that you can download and 3D print with, which is why I actively try to avoid showing off some of the AI 3D modeling stuff, which is sort of the crux of what was bringing on this whole video here. Uh, this is just a sort of a rant on me and AI and 3D modeling. Doesn't mean I necessarily won't talk about it again. Uh, I'm avoiding doing any sponsorships with any, I'm getting lots of emails from AI 3D modeling. There's multiple services out there. I'm just at this point avoiding it. But it, it, again, if you are gonna use AI 3D modeling, please like, print the file and show a, a photo of that printed file so people can actually see what the printed AI 3D model looks like versus some AI thumbnail that is like a hyper stylized version of whatever it is that you're sharing. Let me know what you guys think. If you're if you're in the same boat as me of this whole AI 3D modeling trend, I know a lot of services are starting to incorporate this on their site. I'm looking at you, Maker World, there's like tons of different, they've incorporated that throughout a whole bunch of their things, uh, which again, is cool. I just want a way to flag what were the AI generated things uh, versus what was actually 3D modeled by a person and took the time to make sure that it was actually printable and all that good stuff before just slapping it up there to try and score some points. Thanks so much for watching. I, I just want to say thanks again, my Patreon supporters for your continued support. This is me, a, a rant here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. I'll have a video tomorrow on some crazy project that I'm working on here. Hey, I'll see you next time.